and it's gone and I'm not repurchasing. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm Vicky, and I love everything fragrance, body care, beauty, and I love a good haul. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you miss any of my uploads. Okay, y'all, uh, time for this empty video. Finally getting around to re-recording it. I thought I was gonna record other videos in this go round, but it's late and I'm tired. But anyways, if you're interested in all of the items I have emptied out over the last few weeks, then just keep on watching. And you know I can never get straight to the point because y'all, look at it, okay? I said it was sitting, and it's sitting. Like, if this don't encourage y'all to try those gummies for at least a month or two, I don't know what will because look, look at them. Anyways, let me get into these empties. Now... I mentioned before that I had gave my sister a couple candles. I, either I took some candles, I gave her some candles, whatever. I was like, make sure you give them back. Um, but she started giving me a whole bunch of other candles. And I was like, girl, I'm not a dumping ground. But I um, have some candles from her. Um, but she actually has a perfume empty. This is Victor and Rose Flower Bomb Nectar. This is like her signature scent. She loves this stuff, so... I was like, that need to be in my empty video since somebody's finishing fragrances. Um, but some of these candles here, she has Black Cherry Merlot. I think this is like an OG candle. I feel like just about everybody has one in their collection or has had one. So it's a cool candle, I guess. And it's usually one of the only ones that's left on candle day when you're too late. Um... Next here is Sweet Red Mango. Um, totally her vibe. She loves anything mango, peach, fruity, tropical like that. The next candle here is a vanilla peach tea. I'll just show the bottom because it's like a mirror. I don't want to blind either of us. But this one, um, she loves it. I love it. Um, it's safe to say we would both repurchase. <laughs> That's probably the one I gave her now that I'm thinking about it um this next one here is island papaya she specifically said this candle didn't give what she needed it to have gave and it was very depressing so that's very tragic for her <laughs> see I have two more of her candles one here is island margarita I think she really likes this candle I like it too I stole one from her and this last one is mango margarita from Sonoma I'm not sure where this is from. It might be from Target. Um, I don't know if she liked it or not. She only specifically mentioned that Island Papaya. So I'm just move on from all her junk and let her know I'm not a dumping around. Don't give me no more of your stuff, okay? <laughs> so I could just get into my candles while we're at it. So I have first Pink Watermelon. I feel like this is a staple. This always gives what needs to be gave. And I will repurchase. Next here is um, Sun Kiss and Tell from Forever Mood. Let me just move on. It's a cute candle. I couldn't smell it, but it's a cute candle. And I think for the Forever Mood candles, I probably won't buy any more of these mini candles because I personally can't smell them. You probably have to be within like a close proximity or keep them in a really small, confined area. Um, but I would prefer the normal size candles, but I've already gotten into how they burn, so I'm just gonna move on. Next here is the Single Wick and Fresh Sheets. Love this candle, uh, would repurchase, and I have at least one in the three wick. And I need to check that, because I might need to add a few more to my collection. Next here is Aloe and Palm. Um, it smelled really good on cold. Didn't really do much for me while it was burning, so I would not repurchase that one. Next here is Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit and Tiki Beach. This is a blend. This one was okay. Um, wait, let me think. It was loud at first, but I think once it got like midway through, I don't know. I don't know. It was okay. I could be one and done with that. Next here is Hot Fudge Drizzle. 
this candle i love it so much but something happened once we got midway through it started to smell more burnt than like that chocolate drizzle that i love so much so that was unfortunate i do have another one or two more of these candles I actually i like the candle but i don't know what happened with this particular candle next here i have strawberry pound cake love her would repurchase next i just mentioned this i have fresh sheets and a three wick love it would repurchase i'm trying to remember where i had this because i think i had it in the bathroom at one point and it was doing pretty good in there maybe i had it in my bedroom at first and it wasn't really doing that much so i put it in the bathroom and it was much better so it's a cool candle i could be one and done so next here i have peppermint sugar cookie y'all i love this one would repurchase <laughs> next here is weekend in rome which is prosecco and peaches love this candle would repurchase and then the last one here is passion fruit and banana flower um i um remember i bought this last year didn't like the reviews returned it i kept thinking about it got it again it's underwhelmed won't repurchase next i have a couple laundry items first i have this downy um fabric softener and the cool cotton scent love this would repurchase and then next here i have some pots and the hygienic clean um love this would repurchase as well i think my detergent is empty i need to check that before um i finish the video so that i know whether or not it's coming into this empties or not so here's all of my stuff right here it's pretty cool so first i have these um latte macchiato pots from nespresso and the bianco dokio they were okay one and done wouldn't repurchase next i have a salted caramel syrup from jordan skinny syrup brand this came in a three pack for the um, caramel collection love this with me purchase next this is not empty these are the onyx bathhouse unicorn dream shower steamers i couldn't smell these i used like two or three of them let me see how many are in here i think there's I used three of them, so there's three left, and all it was doing was turning the shower floor blue and was making it rough to rinse out. So if I could at least get a scent from them, I'd be like, okay, but it didn't give a scent and it was messy as ever. So I'm not just, I could just go one more time and put all three of them in there, but it's the cleanup that's an issue for me. So I'm just, move on but i will not repurchase next i have more laundry these are the target brand um scent boosters in the fresh scent i think there's only one scent love these what repurchase next i have my um castile soap and the peppermint scent love this. this is a staple what repurchase i have the saint ives pink lemon and mandarin orange shower it's a body wash shower gel whatever we're gonna call it exfoliating body wash there we go <laughs> um this was okay i could be one and done because this is huge okay maybe if you came in a smaller size i'd spin the block but i'm good with being one and done next are these modest basics disposable washcloths these were gifted by my twin i finally found them because like everything else i lose them i lost them <laughs> i found them got through them they're actually really nice i forgot where she said she got these from but i need to um find another pack of these i do have a pack of cottonelle wipes but these are really big and they you know i like them so there's that i have another um syrup from jordan brand this is in the vanilla flavor this came in a pack of three that was gifted to me by my boo chanel um didn't purchase this would i repurchase this i think i would well would i purchase it <laughs> yes <laughs> next i have some dove white bars love these would repurchase i'm currently using the shea butter ones but i think i have a couple more of these left so yeah i will repurchase <laughs> Next, I have this Febreze Air Linen and Sky Spray. 
I like it. I would repurchase. I have a couple hand soaps. First one is strawberry and snowflake. Well, strawberry snowflakes. This was cute. Uh, I could probably be one and done, but if I saw this for um, 75% off, I might spend the block. And then next here is Fresh Getaway. I actually really, really enjoy this soap. So if this comes back out for 75% off, <laughs> I will repurchase. Next here is Boardwalk Vanilla Cone. Um, I have quite a few more backups to this. I think I'm, I need a break from the scent. <laughs> I'm kind of Boardwalk Vanilla Coned out, but it smells really good. I would repurchase right now because I'm kind of over it and I do have backups, but yeah. Next, this is Vanilla Caramel Creme from um, Jordan Skinny Syrup. This came in that three pack. Um, the caramel edition is this one, the salted caramel one, and caramel pecan. Ugh, amazing. If you see it, grab it, especially if you like coffee or if you like hot chocolate. This isn't really the hot chocolate type of time of year right now, but if you want to drink hot chocolate, do your thing. Um, these caramel syrups will go so bomb in there. So there's that. Next, I finished warm vanilla sugar. Um, <sighs> let me think of one nice thing I can say about this scent. <laughs> i do not like this scent i thought i would enjoy this scent coming back i don't know what happened to this scent from when i was wearing it in like 2017 to when i picked it back up last year or the year before i don't know what happened to this scent but i don't like it and i need to find that fragrance mist so that can go into somewhere else okay i just i need to go somewhere else because i don't like the way this stuff smells so I ended up using it in the shower as a shower lotion so I can get right on through it when it's gone and I'm not repurchasing it. Unless they reformulate it and it smells better. Next is the Soap and Glory Face Soap and Clarity Vitamin C Face Wash. Um, so this kind of smells like body wash to me. So I was using it for face and body. Then it got to the point where it was just body. Um, it's cool. I probably wouldn't repurchase this necessarily as a face wash, but if I were interested in using this as a body wash again, I might consider it, but right now I probably wouldn't repurchase. Next, these two are not empty. Um, the first one is this Twisted Sister Foaming Curl Mousse. I bought a couple months ago when I had my mermaid hair. Um, this made the hair I had on um, crunchy and hard. I'm not sure if that's what mousse is supposed to do, but it just, it didn't feel good on the hair. So I had to just get rid of it and just, how much was this? I just had to lose $8 because, mm -mm. Next here is Ole Hyrickson Balancing Force Oil Control Toner. So not that much left. I have been using this on and off since I bought this at the Sephora sale a year ago. I couldn't remember why I kept putting it down. And then in, um, when I started using this again, I started to feel really congested in my nose area. Like, it just felt like something felt off. And I remember I had started using a different face wash and I was using this every day um, after not using it for a while. So I stopped using both. And then I started using the face wash again for a week straight and I wasn't getting that tightness anymore um, I still wasn't getting that so it had to be this and I was like well maybe that's why I kept putting it down because it just wasn't my skin wasn't agreeing with it so I say all of that to say um, my skin doesn't like it I'm not gonna finish it even though it's you know super low at this point now that I've recognized how my skin doesn't vibe with it why would I put it back on there? So I'm just gonna. I had a couple room sprays. First is fresh cotton. This is practically a staple for me. Love it, would repurchase. And then the next one is strawberry snowflake. This one was really cute. I actually really like it. So if I saw this again, I would repurchase. 
Next here is this lemongrass and green tea stimulating body lotion from the Bubble Tea brand. This came in some type of subscription pack. Um, I found like a container that have, I have a bunch of little minis in there from for like hand creams and body lotions and stuff. So I'm trying to get through them. If I ever saw this, I would not purchase it. I didn't like the way it smelled. Um, next is the Tree Hut Hydrating Sugar Face Scrub in the watermelon scent. Look, that's the best I could do with these tubes, okay? I can't squeeze out any more than what I've squeezed out. Um, and this was too abrasive on my face. I did not like this on my face. Like, I would start using, like, smaller and smaller increments because it was just, it was hurting. So, um... It, I don't think I would repurchase this. If I did, I would probably use it more so for like a foot scrub since I think it's a little abrasive. So that could be a potential in the future. Next, I have these um, goalie gummies. These are the sleep gummies. Um, now that I'm looking here, I'm pretty sure these are not keto. Um... <laughs> But it's not like I inhaled the whole jar. So there's that. Um, I would repurchase in the future. I think at some point I started to get tolerant to them. So two wasn't enough. I would have to take four. So I have to wait a while before I revisit these so that I'm not tolerant to them again. Next here is the Tropical Pineapple Oil from Ancient Cosmetics. One and done would not repurchase. Next here is the um, Pore Normalizing Cleanser from Paula's Choice. This was okay. I don't think my skin uh, actually liked this that much either. This is finished, so I'm glad I finished it, but I just wouldn't repurchase. Next is the Fenty Fat Water. Finally, is empty, okay? Um, I'm not sure if I will repurchase this or not. Like, I finished this um, five, six days ago. I'm gonna see how my skin acts without it, because I was using it consistently, finally. Um, so I'm going to see how my skin acts without it in May because I do have a different um, toner I'm using from, um, I can't even think of the name of the company now. Glow Recipe. There we go. <laughs> I'm using that now since it came in a little sample set. So if I find that my skin seems to be missing this, then I would repurchase. Otherwise, when and done. Next are my Black Girl Vitamins, D3 and Probiotics. Um... I keep saying I'm gonna cancel the subscription. The problem is I have purchased pills for these separately and I don't take them. And the I know specifically the D3 pills aren't that big, so I probably could, but I don't take them. So that's part of why I haven't canceled the subscription because this is like the best way I'm gonna get these vitamins but I do need to look into the liquid route maybe you know we'll see but I haven't canceled the subscription yet so next I have a couple of perfume oils from the beauty supply store one is in the fantasy scent um this is really old before I came to the conclusion I don't like the scent because I didn't like this but I was mixing it in with lotion so I can get rid of it I was doing that for both of these um, and then the next one is Sex on the Beach. Same thing, was mixing it in with lotions and cream so I can get through it. Um, I feel like I'm gonna always purchase these oils from the beauty supply store, you know, every so often. So there's that. Next, I have a um, brow pencil here from Sephora. This is uh, in the shade Ebony, would repurchase. Next, I have a wallflower here in Strawberry Snowflakes. This one was pretty decent. It smelled like kind of perfumey. It was pretty cool. Um, I, I could be one and done. Um, and I'm not even um in. I'm not even supposed to be buying wallflowers anyway. I'm pretty sure I said I was done with the wallflowers. I'm just trying to get through the stockpile I have. Um, however, this next one might have me changing my mind. This is in the stars. 
and y'all why is this so good <laughs> this um should have been in my favorites video but i have forgotten about it this this had finished before the favorites video but i absolutely enjoyed this the entire time it smelled so good so it had me has me contemplating am i really done with wallflowers but i need to be but really good Next, I have some Colgate Optic White will repurchase. Next, I have um, the Aromatherapy Body Cream in, what is this? Guava and Orange. It's empty. So, that's what it looks like. This became a shower lotion because I kept trying to use it and it just smelled too much like Aromatherapy. For me to enjoy it as a cream however using it in the shower especially a morning shower was very helpful and giving me a little boost of energy feel a little more refreshing so one and done would not repurchase so next these are empty and they will reappear in my project use it up video but i just you know i don't want to forget to put them in an empty video So first, I have my peach and papaya sugar scrub from Urban Hydration. This is empty. Um, I kind of, I do like the consistency of this. I will probably repurchase at some point in the future. Next is this Dove Exfoliating Body, body Polish and Crushed Almond and Mango Butter. Also empty. Um, I might repurchase that too. <laughs> Next here, so, okay, it still has scrub on it, so I don't know how close I want to hold this up to the screen. So, in my Project Use It Up video, it's kind of incomplete because I don't want to feel tied to a bunch of products. I would kind of like to add things as I go along because that Project Use It Up is focused more on perfumes scrubs body washes oils so whatever i finish is going to be a part of that use it up not so much the lotions and fragrance mist those i'm swapping out monthly so i'd like to say this wasn't in the project use it up video but it's been an addition it's the pear cobbler sugar scrub i found at marshall's it's growth i'm just hold it right here okay <laughs> it's empty would not repurchase I don't like the way these smell in the shower. They smell so good when I'm smelling them out the container. I had the same issue with the cherry scented one, so wouldn't repurchase. Next, I have um, Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower Moisturizing Body Wash. One and done. I did enjoy it though, but I'm trying so hard to get through my body washes and shower gels because I just seem to keep buying more, and it's not so much that I'm i keep saying i'm gonna stop or slow down and that doesn't seem to be happening so now i just need to be more intentional with just getting through them so next is um this pineapple and papaya um shower gel from love beauty and planet so i could be one and done with this one too it was good for what it was though next i have this love cotton candy champagne um moisturizing body wash you guys see the packaging has like crumbled off and the unfortunate part about that is a lot of that crumbled off in um my shower which was annoying you know to scrub out so i don't like this packaging um where the stuff can easily come off like that um the scent though love it it was in my favorites video so yeah <laughs> speaking of the same scent the scrub okay empty and again this is the best i could do with squeezing it out and i'm not cutting these open next i have um the urban hydration peach and papaya everything oil is empty i actually didn't expect to finish this that quick but this was actually you know it was empty so i was proud so i have been um adding more oil to my use it up i'm gonna uh probably do an update to that next week so next on my project use it up empty <laughs> this is beachfront blanket body cream as you can see we are empty there i love this scent this probably should have been in my favorites video too 
but I chose pink cotton instead. But this, love it. I hope this comes back because I will repurchase this. I still have my fragrance mist though, so I can still enjoy it for a little longer. Next here is Fiji Sunshine Guavatini. This is empty. Um, I'm over the scent, wouldn't repurchase. And fun fact that, hold on, let me grab it right quick. This reminds me of this. And I know I haven't done a haul yet for the new Soul de Janeiro scents, but they all remind me of something else. And I'm quite underwhelmed. And that's probably why it's taking me so long to get around to um, recording about them because I'm getting a sense of deja vu. Like I've been here when smelling each of them and I'm kind of over it. <laughs> Next is the second oil I added to my Project Use It Up. This is Autumn Apple from um, Ancient Cosmetics. Empty, one and done. I'm noticing with some of these, well, maybe not some, especially that pineapple one, because that was the first one I got. They don't smell that great after so much time has passed. And the pineapple one wasn't smelling that pineapple-y when I picked it back up. So I was like, yeah, I have to even get through these. So I'm like trying to expedite the ancient cosmetics oils because the scent isn't lasting that well it's not holding up that well for me so i'm trying not just ancient cosmetics i have queen km i like queen km cosmetics oil but i know those are like handmade products they're you know they're more natural products so i know that they do have a shorter shelf life so i do need to prioritize them i guess that's the point i was getting to <laughs> Next, I finished a Velvet Sugar um, Lotion. Love this. I hope this comes back. Either if this comes, well, it's probably not gone because I think it's at Outlet. So it either needs to come back to the site under the retired section or I need to make an Outlet trip so I can get another one. My mist isn't empty yet, but I would like another lotion. And next, I have a couple. See, now the pieces of this um this is still flaking around and it's stuck on my finger next i finished my travel size to very good girl from carolina herrera i actually did really like this one of the few good girl flankers i enjoy um i think i will repurchase that um next i finished my Edole fragrance from lancome love to see it more flaking of the body wash on there and last but not least i have new by rihanna also got this empty so proud y'all know how hard it is to empty fragrances around here especially when you have a few just a few <laughs> so um let me go see real quick if I have an empty laundry detergent and then we can we can wrap this thing on up <laughs> okay so I did have an empty tie this is the ultra oxy this isn't the usual one I buy I don't know if that time they just maybe that time I went they this is the only one they had but it was cool for what it was I do like my hygienic clean one I'm a little impartial to it not like I really noticed a difference but I think that's it for this empties video. But one thing I want to say, in case anybody's wondering, which nobody's probably wondering, but why I have certain um, like lotions or creams in my use it up bag as opposed to the regular empties bag. And I will say specifically for the oil that wasn't in this one, that was before I started the project use it up. And the other, I'm out of breath. <laughs> The other one that wasn't in there, I was using it in the shower and I don't feel like that's fair for me to put something I know I'm gonna get through cause it's in the shower and I'm gonna be using it every day and I'm gonna be using it in excess. I didn't think that's fair to put it in the use it up. So there's that. <laughs> Anyways, that's my empties video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you in my next video.